Hey everybody, it's Wednesday, May 13th, 2020. Today is day number 37 of Mr. Donley Reads. So yesterday we read a really great book. It was called Jumpin' Jack and Googly. It was written by Meg Rozoff. Today we're gonna read another really good one. It's called The Moose Belongs to Me. It's written by Oliver Jeffers. So let's get into it and find out what's going on with this moose. The Moose Belongs to Me by Oliver Jeffers. Wilfred owned a moose. He hadn't always owned a moose. The moose came to him a while ago and he knew, just knew, that it was meant to be his. He thought he would call him Marcel. It's kind of a funny name for a moose. He began following Marcel explaining the rules of how to be a good pet. Much of the time, it seemed as though the moose wasn't listening, but Wilfred knew he was, mostly because he followed rule number four very well, not making too much noise while Wilfred plays his record collection. It's a pretty good rule. Sometimes, the moose wasn't a very good pet. He generally ignored rule number seven, going whichever way Wilfred wants to go. The moose had a very good sense of direction, and Wilfred did not. And because the moose was particularly poor on rule number seven, subsection B, maintaining a certain proximity to home, Wilfred quickly learned to bring some string along on their outings so he could find his way back again. Seems like a pretty good idea. Sometimes the moose was an excellent pet. He had no trouble with rule number 11, providing shelter from the rain. Or rule number 16, knocking down things that are out of Wilfred's reach. Hmm, that's a pretty nice thing to uh, have around. One day, as Wilfred discussed their plans for the coming year on a particularly long walk, he made a terrible discovery. Hmm, I wonder what he discovered. Someone else thought she owned the moose. Rodrigo, you're back! Wilfred was dumbstruck. The moose was Marcel, not Rodrigo. The old lady was mistaken, and Wilfred thought it only proper that he correct her. This moose belongs to me, he explained. Hmm, we've got ourselves a, a little quinky dink here. And to prove it, he called Marcel. Heel! But the moose did not respond. He seemed more interested in the old lady. Good, Rodrigo. Mm, we've got a uh, situation developing. Embarrassed and enraged, Wilfred rushed off for home. But in his haste and miles from anywhere, he tripped over his string and got tangled up. Uh-oh. And there he lay. Wilfred was beginning to get a little bit worried. It was getting late, and the monsters would be out soon. Monsters! Oh, don't need monsters. He had just ruled out the last of his options when along came the moose. The moose to save the day! Woo! And performed rule number 73 brilliantly. Rescuing your owner from perilous situations. Oh, that Marcel. Where is it, Rodrigo? All was forgiven, and perhaps, Wilfred admitted, he'd never really owned the moose anyway. With that in mind, he and the moose reached a compromise. The moose would agree to all of Wilfred's rules Hmm, I wonder what this compromise is all about. Whenever it suited him. Dominique, you're back! And you brought me an apple! There it was. The Moose Belongs to Me is written by Oliver Jeffers. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.